Hi guys, if you bought a computer with Windows 11 and are now unhappy with how it works, or you upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11 and after that your computer is lagging or running slowly, I will help you return to Windows 10 and not lose your Microsoft license. For those users who have had less than 10 days since the upgrade to Windows 11, I recommend watching the method in my other video, the link is in the description of this video. Today I will tell you how to return to Windows 10 for those users who bought a computer with Windows 11, and also for those who have more than 10 days since the upgrade to Windows 11, and the go back to Windows 10 option no longer works. Here we see that my go back tab is not active, and I will no longer be able to use this function, because more than 10 days have passed since the update. The only thing we can do now is go back to a brand new Windows 10 and in this process I will show you how to keep your license and how not to lose your personal files, apps and games that you have installed in Windows 11. And today I will show you exactly how it works. And so, if you are ready, then we begin. Now connect a USB flash drive with a size of at least 8GB to your computer. My flash drive is 29GB and this will be enough. Do not forget to transfer the necessary files from this flash drive to another location in advance, since in the process of creating a bootable Windows 11 USB flash drive, all files on flash drive will be completely deleted. The whole process takes a lot of time, and if you are doing this on a laptop, then connect it to a power source. Open your browser and in search right, download Windows 11. Or open the video description. and click the link to the Windows 11 download page. The Microsoft page is opened. Here we can get acquainted with the installation rules for Windows 10. And here we will download a special application to the computer, a tool for creating a bootable USB flash drive, and for this we will click, here. The application has been loaded and our browser can be closed. Now let's open File Explorer and open the folder, Downloads. Double click on the icon and the application will start. Here you must accept the terms of the license. Accept. In this window, I choose to create a bootable USB flash drive. Next. If you uncheck the box here, in this window you can select the language for Windows 10. I left English. Next. In this window, we can choose to install Windows 10 on a USB flash drive, or we can simply download the Windows ISO file to the computer. I choose to install Windows on a flash drive. Next. Here we see our USB flash drive and click Next. Remember that the speed of the process will be determined by the speed specified in your internet contract. Now we will wait for the procedure to complete to continue with our video tutorial. And so, we see right now, your USB drive is no longer in the wizard, and it's done, you just need to click here where it says, finish. If you look here, open this computer in Explorer, then open the contents of the flash drive, and here we already see all the files necessary to install Windows 10 on the computer. So, to install Windows 10 on a computer, you need to restart it and call the boot menu. Immediately after the start of the reboot, continuously press a certain key on the keyboard to bring up the boot menu. I press the F12 key, for you it could be, F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key, there is no single standard and different computers may have different keys to call the boot menu. The boot menu opens, find the installation USB flash drive or DVD in the boot menu, press, enter. The installation menu opens. I'm not changing anything here. Next. Install now. Here you need to enter the activation key, I used to have Windows 11 installed on my computer, and now I don't need to enter the product key because the activation of the new Windows 10 will be done automatically. I click, I don't have a product key. If you had Windows 11 or Windows 8 Home, choose Windows 10 Home. If you had Windows Pro, choose Windows 10 Pro. This way you will keep your Microsoft license. Here I choose Windows 10 Pro. Next. I accept the terms of the license. Next. Click here to continue with the installation. 
In this window, we see all the partitions and drives connected to the computer. Here I have a partition with an old Windows and three small system partitions. In order not to lose personal files and applications that I had on Windows 11, in no case should anything be deleted and formatted here. It is necessary to mark the disk with Windows, it is the largest in size here, and click, Next. The installer reports that all files from the previous Windows will be moved to a folder named Windows Old, and upon completion of the installation of Windows 10, we will have access to all its files. I press, OK. We won't have to do anything for a while, you can relax and have a cup of coffee or tea. The computer will automatically reboot several times. Please, don't turn off your computer. And just like that, all the Windows 10 files have been loaded, and now we need to do some configuration. Here you must select your region, yes. Now choose your keyboard layout, yes. Skip. I choose, for home use. Next. If you already have a Microsoft account, sign in, or create a new account. I'm going to create a local account. I like this name. Bond. James Bond. Next. I'll set the password later. Next. I agree to the privacy terms. Next. The new Windows 10 welcomes us. There is not much left. Yes. I did it and now I have a brand new Windows 10 on my computer. Hope everything went well for you too. I press the button, start. Then, settings, and here we will see how the automatic activation of the system went. Yes, I have Windows 10 Pro installed and activated with my digital license. Now I open, File Explorer, then, this PC, and double click on the C drive. Here is the Windows old folder, and it should contain all my personal files. I open this folder. Then the folder, Users. Here I open the folder with my username. If you remember, there were several folders on my desktop in Windows 11, and I open the desktop. Yes, here is my old video folder and my photos folder, and I will check if I lost my files or not. No, I didn't lose anything, my files were saved. Now I will open the program files folder and see how my applications from Windows 11 have survived. Yes, my applications are also preserved. They work, and I can use them on Windows 10. And so, now you know how to install a new Windows, keep the license, and save your personal files from the old Windows. I hope what I just said can help you and if you found it helpful please share my video with someone. Thank you very much for watching my video. Good luck!